Anyway. Welcome to Dreamland 3. This is one of the big Kirby games that I've never gotten to play. And it's pretty reputable. Reputable. The shadow being going to the star, pop star. Kirby's fishing with his buddy that has never showed up before ever. Terrifying. <laughs> what a happy screen. I always love Kirby games because on the like appearance outside they always seem like very happy go lucky but then when you like actually dump jump into the games there are some seriously messed up like themes within it and always at the end of the Kirby game he ends up fighting some sort of eldritch god <laughs> It's pretty good. Ew. No. I like unspeakable horror when it meshes with cute stuff. Honestly, too. Me too. I think it works out really well. Something about it. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the visible contrast that I really like. Ooh, this is like SNES Crayola. Oh, hey. Hi. I was trying to suck. <gasps> you just ate him! Okay, see? So these are my buttons. E and Y. This is you. You're A. I lose some health if I summon this guy, but not a lot. X doesn't do anything. Bumpers don't do anything. Okay, so just BY. Hamster or cat? This game has a buddy system. I remember that. Will you be my friend? Oh, yo. I always wish they brought this back in some sort of way. That looks a little inappropriate. Oh well, I didn't say that. <laughs> you really crossed the line! <laughs> when I get a PS5, I'm gonna recheck out DMC5. That's not going to be for a bit, though, because PS5 is like $500. And also hard to get than a... You know. 
Well, you don't know, but maybe you know. You almost got a PS5 today. Oh, yo. They're hard to find. I had a chance to get a PS5 at one point, but I couldn't justify, like, the price. And also, I'd had to go to a Best Buy that was in, like, a very bad area. And I didn't really want to get jumped, honestly. Wasn't really feeling like getting jumped that day. Catch my drift. Oh, you stepped on the flower! I will never have Gooey out again. Gooey has failed me. I played a bit of Kirby games. Um, I've played Nightmare in Dreamland, which I really like. I like Nightmare a lot. I've played... I can't remember the name of it right now. If I say the name I think it is, it'll come across. Magic Mirror? The Magic Mirror game, that's like a Metroidvania. I like that one a lot. What is this thing? Is this a slime? I will take this man. Uh, I played Return to Dreamland on Wii. I played Star Allies, Canvas Curse on DS, and on Wii U, but not the, not completely on Wii U. I didn't beat it. Bye, Gooey. I'm not gonna summon you again. You stepped on the flower. Oh, and Superstar Saga. I think that might be all of them, though, that I've played. And Planet Robot. Planet Robot was amazing. I forgot about that. I always forget that I played that, but it's like my top three Kirby games, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. There appears to be danger. Now that Kirby has a bird, he can fly. He couldn't fly before. I want fire. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Besides Star Allies, is Dream Man 3 the only one with the buddy system? I wouldn't even call it the buddy system in, uh... In Star Allies. Health carry over? Health does carry over. Hmm. Okay. I 
Owl. Yep, beat Super Metroid. That was really good. I liked it a lot. There was some, like, really cryptic stuff in that game. There was times where I'd be in a room, and the only way for me to progress in the game is to find, like, a secret wall. Either, like, something I have to do to, like, blow up something, or, like, just straight up walk into the wall. That is a low death boundary. Goodbye, fish. I'll miss you. Yeah, it's just older games in general, though. Like, maybe? It was, like, extra cryptic, though. Like, it was weird cryptic. But maybe that's just the appeal. What's this guy doing? Oh, I see. I see. Looked like this one. All right, here we go. I eat you. Oh, I can't jump. This is a special gameplay section. Like Zelda 1. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. I'll play Zelda 1 eventually. I'll definitely be... Do I use a guide? I don't know. I think that just kept games going for longer back then, though. Yeah, because the, uh... The general structure of gaming in general was changing. It was all about arcades and just, like, sucking up quarters. And then when that transitioned to, like, home console, devs were like, alright, what's the point? Like, what are we supposed to do? Longevity? I guess. Bunch of random-ass cryptic bullshit everywhere. Simon's Quest. Or just make it obnoxiously hard. Oh, he approves. What's up? Can I eat this? Can I eat you? Yes. 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 Now get Gooey out of here. He already ruined everything earlier. Whoops. I don't even think it was about limited space. I think it was just about not exactly knowing how to make a game just yet during that time. Like structurally. I think Zelda 1 was a very like, oh, whoa, we can do this with gaming. And then Final Fantasy 1 was another, like, oh, whoa, we can do that with gaming. And then Mario 1 was like, oh, whoa. Sad rain cloud. Can I eat you? Can I eat that? Can you be consumed? Oh, you don't do anything though. Allow me to become a rock.
God. Is that a Kappa? I ate him. I don't know what this dude's boomerang is. Oh, right. <laughs> I wonder- Oh, I remember yours. I'll do her. Just because I already did cat. She looks like she's sucking my brain, though. She can grip onto ceilings. Look at her go. If you do an attack, though, you'll fall. Ice curb looked like that. Yo, big cat. Monkey? What's wrong with you? She does kind of remind me of Metroid. Kind of a fitting character to, to first see after Super Metroid. You missed the end of Super Metroid, and you want to see it, uh, there will be the VOD afterwards on Twitch. If not, I'll export to the full channel with the full stream recordings. I'm going to start, like, heavy, heavy focusing that now, making sure everything's, like, archived. Just so nobody misses stuff they want to see. Like the entirety of, uh, the Devil May Cry streams. <laughs> or, uh... Oh, what's another one? That got lost in the ages. Devil May Cry. Yeah, that's a big one. I would love to play that on console though, because that was very intensive on my computer. Both streaming and playing Devil May Cry 5. I have a nice GPU, but not like that nice a GPU. This doesn't even do anything for me. Actually, not even that. It's, it's my CPU. My CPU is bogus. In the bad way. I'm pretty sure I've been ranting about my CPU for years. Hey, what's up? You don't seem happy. Not my problem. It might be, though. Yo, Pie Lover. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Happy Friday. If it's Friday where you live. No, it has to be Friday where you live. Actually, no, it doesn't have to be anymore. I still don't understand the ending of Nocturne. I could explain it, but I have a feeling that I'm going to replay Nocturne because that was one of the most 
like out there JRPG experiences I've ever played and it was so good. I love that game, dude. Doing well, you doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. We beat Super Metroid, which was pretty cool. That happened uh maybe like 40 minutes ago at this point. My first ever uh, Metroid game, down. Why do these guys look so sad? I'm doing Al. Oh, just like freeform flying? I think so. It is Friday. Oh, nice. Friday's cool. Oh, he's got a dash, too, yo. See you later, level. This is how a real man plays. No, not gooey. I don't want gooey. like your friends, just eat them. Kirby taught me that. The remake is coming. I've heard mixed things about the remake. Um... If anything, I'd probably be playing a modded version of the PS2 on emulator. Again. Well, it wasn't mod the first time, but the second time it would be modded. From my understanding, the remake has a lot of performance issues. And also still uses uh, McGrew's compressed-ass PS2 soundtrack that sounds like it's underwater. And I I'm not even sure why they even, like, kept that soundtrack, like, in that form. We're going back to Cat. Or not Cat, we're going back to... Oh wait, Hamster! We haven't even done Hamster yet. Dirt. Good night, Bets. Take care, dude. I appreciate you hanging out. Sleep well. Hope you have an awesome day tomorrow. Ham dirt. Ham dirt doesn't have a double jump. Can we just do damage? Oh no, is the spider coming on me? I mean, shooting a web at me. I'm the bug inside you. Hello, Nocturne MC. There's no reason to come down here. I already got the one up. There is a reason to go over there, though.
Whoa, transparency. That's a big deal for Super Nintendo. No! Go away! This is the future. Hamter kinda... who? I mean, he runs fast, but... Get out of here, gooey! Sick of your shit. Whatever, you can exist for now. But by my whim alone, you exist. Should've... Should've eaten gooey. I lost health because I swallowed him. I wasn't paying attention. I was about to say, I don't think I've played Kirby, uh, Kirby game in a bit. I think the last one I played fully was Star Allies. But Star Allies was not a long game at all. Never did check out the uh, updated content for that game, though. pretty good. At least Cat has a triple jump. That's pretty good. What my favorite Kirby game is, now that I think about it. It might actually be Planet Robobot. That game was really good. Or maybe the DS version of Superstar Saga. That was also really good. Maybe Kirby Air Ride, actually. <laughs> that's a good game. I think that's my top three curbs right there. I don't think I can put them in, like, a ranked order in those top three, though. Because I love them all from di for different reasons. I got your shapes. The clown says thanks.
That works, I guess. Whoa. Who's this dude? Oh, he's tiny. Baby Wispy. Oh my god, this power is amazing. Damn. Maybe 64. I really like 64. 64 is very slow traversal wise though. It's the only thing with it. But I really like the combo copy ability mechanic in 64. And it has some amazing, well every Kirby game has amazing songs. I just get eaten. A good song. Wow. Whoa. I don't want to play with you right now. Oh, but going back to Nocturne, um, I'll probably play, if I ever do a second playthrough, it'll be a mod version with emulation, and I'll, uh, manually add the, uh, uncompressed soundtrack. I use keyboard to play fighting games. Whatever works, dude. I mean, that's essentially a, a Smashbox, or a Hitbox, whatever they're called. I've considered getting uh, hitboxes before. I don't I hope I don't have to make everybody happy in order to get to the final boss. Cause if that's the case, we're gonna have to pretty much redo all these levels. <laughs>
I mean, they're not long levels. Kind of whatever. Yo, GL, GL. Thanks, Doctor. Appreciate that. I will do my best just for you. I think I'm doing all right, though. Except for the fact that I'm missing every single thing ever, but that's fine. I think it's fine. I don't know if it actually is. Goodbye, cat. I hope you can breathe water. For some reason, I think I should do fish. I wonder why. Hmm. Seems like fish was a good call. Give. Give that to me. This fish had a double jump? No. crying. Sorry, dude. Do I have to eat a parasol guy or something? I bet you there's not one around here. It's only at the beginning of the level. Exclusively. Oh. Secret has been found. Neither of you are a Paracel. She switch to use somebody else. Come on, bird. We ride. What do you mean, bird sucks in water? No, <laughs> I keep spotting gooey by accident. <laughs> We don't, don't you dare take damage. I should just rip off the A button so I can't even spawn Gooey. I'll take it. this <laughs> I will end your existence no more suffering for you. Ooh, electricity. I actually haven't gotten this yet.
Oh my god! Hey, you found some water to swim on. Good for him. He deserved it. Could barely even tell. <laughs> I couldn't even see his face. I just saw like the shape of what it was, and I was like, that's probably him. Come on, bird. Auto-scroller? Fast auto-scroller? Introducing Wall of Death. Oh god. One of damn games. I played your mini game. Frog man. What is that? Flashlight? Oh no, broom. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Fish, I'll take you. It's a plunger? Oh god, what does this do? <laughs> oh, she rides the magic carpet. Is this just like flight permit? I think so. I like this. All right, cat, what you got? <laughs> oh, I think I like... This makes more practical sense. But I really like the way carpet looks. <laughs> Go. 
go. Aboard the tra- oh god. In the door. What is that? Excuse me. Who was that doppelganger? bad albums who is that ridiculous cannot believe my eyes Why am I choosing all the bad paths? This time I'll take the right one. And actually go through the door. Oh, this place kind of reminds me of uh the Sonic Rush level. It's either Rush or Adventure. Rush Adventure. Not Adventure 1. Classic mistake. Hello, Big Frog. I gotta go save the world from a literal black omnivoid that's sentient I don't have time to make frogs happy unless I do have time and I'm supposed to be making them happy then maybe I do have some spare time let me check the calendar Actually, I'm pretty excited to finally play Dreamland 3. Even if Gooey keeps spawning in. This Kirby game has been on my radar for a bit. I just never actually started it. No re real reason why, I just didn't. can't breathe underwater. Nuts. I was going to try to inhale gooey. 
Now I can. Okay. fish just shanks you with a broken light bulb? That's the power? So we'll see how far we get in this playthrough today. Um, I know I was just saying how excited I am to play Dreamland 3. It's just weird to wrap my head around because I was so prepared to continue with Metroid. And once I get like focused in on something, it's, it's hard for me to like easily switch and be like, yo, Dreamland 3? Cool. You know, I do actually want to play this game. So, I don't know. See how far we get. If it's like very visible that we'll be beating this game like quickly as a short game, then we'll continue on with it. If not, next stream will most likely be Metroid Zero. Oops. I kind of like the idea of just like going through the Metroid games one by one. Marsh Metroid. Because realistically, at the end of March, I'm not going to be playing any other game except Monster Rise. You'll have to pry me away from that game. I'm very excited for Rise. If Rise has enough monsters, I think it has the potential to be a best monster game. It just has to have enough content in it. You gonna play Monster Rise with me and the homies? This is true. We gotta get a guild together, dude. Find like people who actually like want to routinely play. We got Gabe. We got you. We got Spagoo. I think I know another dude who'd probably be down. I didn't last long at all. I'm just plowing through these levels. Not even doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, the trick jump <laughs> for one of the worst items in the roulette. <laughs> Look at that background. That's beautiful. Excuse me, crabs. Three different buddies. Oh, <laughs> 
That's pretty good. What do you do? Back electricity buildup. This is last for a while. I think this lasts infinitely. Cats is the best, but this one is the most interesting. Ow, fucking rock! Lucky guess. Alright, check this out. It's gonna be the bottom one. Lucky guess. Alright, check this out. It's gonna be... It's gonna be this one. Are you impressed? Is anybody impressed? I'm impressed. That was awesome. I just did three for three on guesses. A 50 50, a 33, and a 25. Yeah, Tom, you're so cool. This is why we watch you, this is why we hang out. Three doors. Ooh, look at this. What the heck are you? I get it, I get it, I get it. That's not what I wanted. Although maybe it is, because now this is a little easier. Wait, I've never seen these things before in Kirby. These like star blocks with balls attached to them. Yoshi egg?
I really love these power-up ideas. So close. Acro. I was trying to get rid of the power up at the end. It wasn't doing me too good. Look at him tiptoe! He just exploded. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> I'll get Gooey out of here. I don't want to. Is it going to be something like step on the flowers but not the mushrooms? next time.
we see hamster fire? Yeah, we did. We see this guy fire? Yeah, we did. This might be a little better. Tiny Bird has some weirdly technical copy abilities. Maybe that's his, uh, like, design. Because the owl is there. The owl is, like, the main flying one. So this dude's all about, like, unique copy abilities. I guess. Ooh, balls. Alright, can we do something? An on purpose gooey summon. Can we do something? Can we do something? You're not doing enough, my friend. Time to consume you. Getting kind of hairy up here. Oh shit, getting really hairy up here. Oh. I'm sorry, small bird. I just done this. Caveman? Do you have a power? No. I think that was just some random dude. I don't even think that was an enemy. I think he was just chilling and I just walked up and ate him. Alright, there's his brother though. We can we can just chill. We can just chill. Oh, it's a prehistoric level. Because those are like raptors in the sky. This is all stone. Interesting. I do not want to mess up time. But I will not kill any more cavemen. Damn. Why are you mad? I didn't step on any of you guys. I guarantee you I was supposed to step on the flowers. And not the mushrooms. Unless the mushrooms want to be stomped on. Maybe they're weird. Maybe they're into that. It would be my first shroom stomping experience. Oh, I thought this was a pitfall.
Can we check out her fire ability yet? These are obviously the highlight of the game for me. so cool. Gui, please do stuff. Shit! Bruh. Unironic, bruh. Is that Mr. Popo? This dude? It could be. I'm gonna eat him though. What's up, Ozzy? See you, man. Thank you again for yesterday, dude. That was really cool. You didn't have to sub. But I, like, really appreciate it, man. How you doing? Happy Friday. Well, now it's Saturday, but happy Saturday. It's on auto sub, always supporting. What the heck, dude? <laughs> Holy shit. Appreciate that, man. I've been binging attack on Titan. Yo. I gotta catch up. I, um... I watched all of season one when it came out, and then there wasn't any more anime to watch at the time. But I was really into it. So I was like, let me read some of the manga. And then I caught up in the manga, and it got up to this point where it was like this like monkey guy, and the monkey guy was like, I'm incredibly strong or something. And then I ran out of manga, and I was like, all right, I guess I'll just wait now. And I'm, I guess I'm still at that phase. Even though that was like six years ago. <laughs> was that six years ago? Probably. No. Started last week and now I'm two episodes behind current. Yo. It's awesome, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. They always seem like a really cool concept, and visually always seemed really impressive, too. All the scenes when, like, Levi's flying around through town. It's very fast-paced. Fucking fake doors. This show is a fucking trip. I gotta watch it. I gotta catch up. You know what I also gotta watch? You're gonna love this segue. I still gotta watch Breaking Bad! <laughs> uh, one day, dude. One day. You mofo! <laughs> Dog, I'll do it eventually, I promise. Eventually. I gotta watch something new in general. I haven't really started a new show in a while. I watched the first few episodes of Hunter Hunter. 
know is pretty good. And I just kind of stopped. No real reason. Kind of stopped. I want to watch, like, Inuyasha or Yu Yu Hakusho. I think that's the next, like, type of anime I want to watch. Something from, like, the 80s, 90s. Hunter Hunter looks weird to me. It was kind of weird, honestly. I only watched the first three episodes or so, so I can't really say too much. But it was kind of strange. would have continued with it if I just didn't randomly stop. I had a fun, like, tone overall. Maybe I will watch a Yu Hawk show. It sounds pretty good. Nineties anime, no matter what anime, always has this swagger around it. I know, I know what swagger you're talking about. It, it's hard to describe. I'm not sure if it's like the actual how the anime looks, or maybe even like just like the style of music back then. Something about it is just so out there. It has a nice aesthetic to it, though. Hang on, I'm moving Mike up. Been falling this entire day. It's the characters for me, the personalities. I could see that, yeah. 90s anime. Always has like that one super perverted character though. And some people have a problem with that. Like the the old dude that likes looking at porno mags and gets like the nosebleed. That classic like character archetype. It doesn't bother me, honestly, but I know it kinda gets under some people's skin. 2020. Nope, it's not 2020 anymore, it's 2021. Shout out to Roshi. I was thinking about Roshi. <laughs> I'll be honest. If that wasn't obvious. Oh, I've seen this one. 100% was thinking about Roshi when I said these things. She so shoots a laser. I'll take this. Expressionless while we fall to the pit. You know, show I never watched. I never watched Bleach. And I know that was a huge show. Yeah, that was considered up there with like Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball at one point. I don't know if I would ever watch Bleach actually. No. One Piece? Nah, bro. We've had this conversation before. It, it's worth it. There's a reason it's been number one shonen for literally like 20 fucking years or some shit. <laughs> for however long Oda's been taken to write that story. 
I don't know. I, I can get that the length is a lot for some people. I think it actually... Manga-wise, just reached a thousand chapters. Please don't die. I'm not trying to die right now. This game's getting me in the mood for some Dig Dug. Oh, yo. Are you a Dig Dug guy? I was not paying attention. Five. I'm sorry, dude. I wasn't even sure what the mini game was. It's okay, though. I'm gonna die. Die in a few seconds. I loved Dig Dug as a kid. I don't think I've ever actually played Dig Dug. Now that I think about it. That's Namco, right? I know the premise and how the game works. Your dude digs around, he finds the enemies and then pumps them up with air and explodes them. Killing them violently. Something like that. Pretty much. Yeah, there we go. This dude's gonna be pissed because I didn't do his minigame right. Same way you might watch Breaking Bad, I might watch One Piece. Isn't, like, every episode of Breaking Bad, like, 50 minutes long? It's like every episode's a movie. I do love that guy as an actor, though. I forget his name. Was it like Brian Colson or something? Is that even close? I only have 113k points. That's a lot of points, Mewtwo. I don't know why you're saying only 113k. <laughs> All right, this move. Isn't One Piece a thousand eps? Technically, One Piece isn't even over yet. And One Piece could go on easily for another, like, six years. Honestly, with how the story is right now. There's so much that could be expanded. In, like, a good kind of way, too, not the forced kind of way. I'm getting fucked up right now. Oh my god. Get out of there, cat. We're bailing. Uh-oh, we gotta go somewhere. Games were so simple back then. Yeah. I think we've taken some steps forward. Maybe some steps back, too, if I'm gonna be honest. But at least some steps forward. kind of getting to the point where I'm okay with the idea of DLC. It just has to be, like, well-deserved DLC, that's all.
what the hell is even going on in One Piece that they can go on for that much longer? They're... It would take so long to explain. And it's like this spider web of information. That's just been like building off from like episode one. There, there is like legitimate shit they could do in One Piece. And not like... For shit. There are pros and cons for in-game purchases. I think so, yeah. It just, for me, it has to be like well-deserved and an actual like good expansion. Yo, Miss Goomba, how's it going? Long time no see. Hope all is well for you. Did you see the new Pokemon stuff? I did. Looks very cool. Pokemon Arceus looks pretty interesting. I like that concept a lot. And I'm excited for uh, Sinnoh remakes as well. I'm also very excited for Diamond, or not Diamond Pearl. Uh, well, yeah, but. Let me start that sentence over. I'm excited for Pokemon Snap, too. I had them in Platinum. Ooh. Yeah, Tertruc was my starter. Tertruc, represent. I had a Turtwig in Diamond, and I had Turtwig in Platinum. Diamond Pearl Remix. Yeah, announced today. Like Pokemon Diamond Pearl. They also announced Pokemon, like, Legend of Arceus or something like that. And concept-wise, it looked pretty interesting. It's set, uh, before, like, Pokemon trainers and, like, Pokemon gyms and league is even a thing. And it's an open-world Pokemon game with, like real-time battles. If you see a Pokemon out on the field, you can just walk up to it, throw a ball at it. It doesn't have to, like, go into the turn-based, like, battle thing. It's just real-time. So you throw the ball at it, and you can catch it. It can attack you in real-time. You have, like, a dodge roll. Your Pokemon can attack it in real-time. It, it, like, concept-wise, it looks pretty interesting. Yo, Adrian! We killed Ridley, we killed Ridley, and then we killed Mother Brain. We finished Super Metroid. Although I only got 62% of the collectibles. So I'll probably play Super Metroid again. <laughs> I think next stream... Well, I wasn't expecting to beat Super Metroid tonight. So that's kind of why we're doing an improv Dreamland 3 playthrough. And I still want to stream for like another hour. But I think next stream we're going to start Metroid Zero. If you're into that. That'll be tomorrow. Never actually owned the original. Diamond and Pearl? They're pretty good. They're my favorite Pokemon mainline games, but... Not a lot of people share the same uh, sentiment. I think it's just because I played them a lot growing up. I bought an action replay just for Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> and I went ham on that. And that somehow, in a way, taught me, uh, like, hex coding. Congrats, thank you, thank you. It was a lot of fun. I really like Super Metroid. I think I said it already, but I'll say it again. I, I probably will play again, just because I want to do 100% completion. 
and learn more about that game in general. I'm almost max Master Balls, really? I got one for Platinum. Oh, an action replay. Yeah, they were they were cool. Yeah, it's gonna be available for Switch. I think most likely only available for Switch. Your Switch is still busted? Really? Is it still that one issue that like... What is it? It was something about it just like turning off randomly. Or like black screened. Look at that you can beat. I mean, try to go fix it. I wonder what that could even, like, be? It wouldn't be a power rail thing, because that'd mean it'd go out immediately. It's only after a while. Maybe it's a, like, capacitor thing? I don't know. Get up there. That'd be rad. Kirby has really good music. That's one thing you can always depend on Kirby for. Really good music. I think I've listened to the entire Dreamland 3 soundtrack before I've actually <laughs> played this game. Ooh, ice. Interesting. I haven't seen ice yet. No. I heard a mashup with this song before, really? What I would say if I was weak. I'm actually gonna live forever. That is, <laughs> that is the end of the level right there. I swear I did that as a joke. I didn't accidentally do that. That was a joke, I promise you. I, I swear, dude. <laughs> it became easier without the pink thing sucking my brain. Oh, but I needed pink thing sucking my brain. This guy's sad now. Do, we, do you want gooey? What does the pink thing do? Uh, the pink thing is... I actually don't know, like, what it is, is, but... Kirby Dreamland 3 has this one... Has this mechanic where Kirby can have, like, buddies... That help him out along the way.
and they like stack up Kirby's copy abilities. Let me see if I can find one in this level somewhere. I think it's unique to this game, unless it's in Dreamland 2. I didn't play that one though. Come on. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Okay, uh, alright. <laughs> Interesting. I'm down. This is my kind of aesthetic. This is weird. I like weird though. Okay, that was not a secret. That was a lie. I see. I see the concept of this level. So I am gonna get be able to show off the animal buddies. It's just which room are they in? Down. Ow. Oh, look, Kirby. Yo, dude. Have you ever seen this game before? Have you, have you even played Kirby before? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Long time no see. Here we go. I've never played Dreamland 3, so this is Omega Casual playthrough. Monster Rise PC confirmed. I need a link for that. You can't just say stuff like that. I ran this game and it hurts my wrist. Really? I remember watching you run this game. I think you kind of preferred a uh, 64 though, didn't you? where the cat could be used. Yeah, lol. I remember these things. I tried to play this one for Switch, but I had a hard time controlling the character. But I can play the older ones online. Kirby? Oh wait, I can see everybody's moves. Oh, I've seen everybody's moves for fire. Never mind. IGN. Hmm. Monster Rise is coming to PC. Nintendo Switch Island Monster will eventually come to PC. Uh, according to Rizzo Tsujo. According to producer. Sometime early 22. We received a lot of requests for, for a PC version of Monster Arise, particularly from overseas players. Yeah, right. AKA our entire <laughs> plans until 2023 were leaked. Not this one. 
I think it's bottom right. I feel like it was, wasn't it? It was. He's not gonna be in this room again, is he? No. It says at the bottom. Well, dang. I mean, we knew the PC port was coming, just not officially. Just the entire server leak. Do I even have to do this? I don't know if I actually want to do this. Yeah, I'll, I was gonna double buy anyway. Gabe bought a Switch just to play Monster Rise, and he already said he was gonna double buy anyway. Sixty FPS, sixty FPS and modable. Oh, I could only go through the blue ones. we going up right uh, okay <laughs> sure <laughs> This level is pretty hard if you don't know the puzzles. I do not know the puzzles, unfortunately. Do I have to fix the entire Rob? I mean, this is the most interesting level by far. That I've experienced. Uh oh. Thank God for jank hitboxes. I see. Can't wait for mods and people to bypass CRC. It's gonna be good. I did it. I don't know what I did, but I, oh wait, I didn't do it.
I got excited. <laughs> Secret door? I don't think so. Yeah, no. I think we went top right. Super rebound, damn. I did not want this. I did not want this. Yeah, big rip. Do I need all the, uh, the hearts at the end of levels to get like the true final boss? Or is that just for completion's sake? Yep. Oh. Oh. Hey, he's Gyromite guy. That's kind of cute. I wish I knew that. I've just been blowing through levels. Oh. I've just been blowing through levels. Yeah, I didn't get a single one in World 3. <laughs> I got two here. Alright. Rough. What are these badgers? Weird one.
sweet. Reminds me of that one fight from... Superstar Saga. It's like the blue and pink gumdrop that push blocks. This looks cool. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Are you good? You're like raggling around. <laughs> Oops, I didn't want to actually kill her. Let's go, bro. What can you do? Oh, you brought your own Swiffer. It's pretty cool. What do you do? Oh, right, I've seen this one. Drink water straight from the Brita. Is that command, or is that reward still there? Introducing channel points. Oh my god, it is. Dude, what was 2020 Tom doing this entire year? What the f- I can't believe it. Dude, that guy was... 2020 time was fucking up everywhere. Oh, shit. I messed up my mic. There he goes. Yeah, 2020 time was kind of nuts, honestly. <laughs> the push-up command is still here. No, get that out of here. Some people actually get kind of sad when they see the delete the stream channel and they think it's not a joke. Even though it costs 69 for 20. What is test two? Test doesn't do anything. That was my first ever time making a custom reward, and I just kind of left it there. Fart sound? Dude, I don't want to do the fart sounds. <laughs> Here's my reason for not wanting to do a fart sound. Say, in some 
far out universe. Somebody is actually immersed in this Kirby playthrough, even though we talk about dicks and butts like nearly nonstop. But somehow outside of all of that, they are somehow immersed. And then out of nowhere, bam, reverb fart sound effect, and it like ripples their eardrums. That's the only reason that I haven't done it. I don't know, maybe, maybe like, I don't know what to do with channel points. Like, really? What's this guy's boomerang? I don't think I've seen this. I've seen that so many times. <laughs> Just nod, stop. Yo, Baz, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. What is up? You can give all your channel points to me. Go for it. You and man, long time no see. Hope all is well. I'm about to pass out, but ye. Well, I hope you have an awesome night. Sleep well, dude. You're gonna have an awesome day tomorrow, trust me. I know. You're doing a Xeno run tomorrow. Oh, there we go. See, that's how I knew. <laughs> yeah, get get that sleep, dude. Get some shut eye. Probably gonna fail one of the hard end game fights a million times and miss PB. You got it. I believe in you, dude. I know you got it. You just gotta believe that you got it, and then you got it. I'm gonna keep this guy. Sorry, pink blob. Teach me how to nux, not suck. Hold it back. I can't. I got. I gotta. I'm sorry. I was gonna make the joke. If you don't want to suck, just blow instead. But then I like had to use 100% willpower to not say that. <laughs> Took all my strength, but I, I couldn't do it in the end. I had to explain the scenario. Good night, dude. Take care. Give it to me. You two, what would you do with all those? Actually, I know exactly what you would do with all those channel points. I did promise you that 24 hour Sekiro. And even though I would not make that agreement now, it doesn't matter because I made that agreement and I gotta uphold it. So, I'll do a 24 hour Sekiro. Good luck getting to 1 million though. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That sucked. Oh my god, fish, please. Fish. I'm gonna bail on fish if I get hit one more time. <laughs> Stay back. I'm warning you.
every single button except the jump button. What the heck is that? Do I stomp on you? I don't think so. Too late. Get stomped on. It does not look like I was supposed to stomp on them. Whoops. Chicken! I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Sorry for anyone who was enjoying Kirby. I am playing. I am going to come back to this, though. I do not know if I'm going to go and get every single heart piece, though. But I will at least finish main game. I'm having fun with this. This has like a... Unique style for Kirby. The Crayola. I actually think it works really well. I really like stylized Kirby games. Like Epic Yarn was really good too. I just like stylized games in general. Alright. Take care, everybody. I do not know anybody who is online right now. I should probably uh do some networking on Twitch and actually find people. I don't like the word networking, actually. More like, m no more than like 10 people who stream at like a normal hour. <laughs> and nobody online when I actually stream. Hey, that's me. Yeah. All right, we are going to raid nobody. <laughs> we are going to go to bed instead. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a wonderful day tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow night. Unless some sort of, like, of catastrophe happens. If so, then I'll post an update in the Discord. Plan for tomorrow is Metroid Zero. We're going to be starting it. Alright. Bye.